briefly talk about growth charts and how they're used in pediatrics. Hi, I'm Dr. Leslie Trees, the board certified pediatrician, and I'm here to clarify the basics of growth charts and what they mean for your child. In the U.S., we use this World Health Organization growth chart for children from birth to age two, and we use CDC growth charts for ages two to 18. It's important to use the correct chart for the child's age and circumstances. There are also specialized growth charts for children with specific conditions such as Down syndrome, prematurity, or Noonan syndrome. The key is selecting the right chart for the individual child. Now, let's look at what happens after birth. For example, if a baby is born weighing four kilos and lose some weight after birth, which is normal and expected, they regain their weight, their growth may follow a curve on a slightly lower percentile than their birth percentile. And this is completely fine because the birth percentile often reflects the in utero environment, such as like high blood pressure, diabetes, or other factors that influence the baby's growth before delivery. We typically start tracking percentiles at two weeks of age. You'll notice that in the first three to four months, growth is really rapid, but then it tapers off and slows down and their weight gain slows after about four to six months. This early period is when children find their curve, meaning they are settling into their genetic growth potential. Whether they end up in a lower or a higher percentile is all normal. Growth charts require representation across all percentiles, so we need children of all sizes to create the curve. Understanding these patterns can help you feel reassured about your child's growth. If you have questions about your child's growth trajectory, talk with your pediatrician. We're here to guide you through it. Thank you and have a great day.